you know, I get my hopes up only for it to be crushed. It's like people who find out about you and want to either be friends or date you for them to only crush your dreams and make you suffer. And that's what today's topic will be about, especially about why I put three broken hearts on my community tab. Most of y'all already know what that means, but for this video, I'm going to be explaining more about it. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button. <laughs> So you meet this person, he or she doesn't give off any red flag warnings, and you're like, I'll give them a chance a little bit. And boom, you're friends with this person, but you don't trust them. But as months or years go by, you start to trust this person more because you realize you found someone that not only does give a shit about you, but you know they will never turn on you. And this builds up to the two people becoming best friends or possible lovers. It's all good for you. But then a few months or a year later, things begin to change. You wake up the next day and it's actually a good day you're having or you're having a bad day and you want to talk to, to the one person that you trust and be around the most. And when you decide to talk to them or see them, you start to notice they are a different person, they stop texting you or their behavior starts to change them. And this continues for about a week or a month and then out of nowhere, they show their true colors by saying, you're a terrible friend, or I think we should take a break from relationship. And then that person who said, take a break, decides to date someone else moments after saying they want to stop dating or just got out of a relationship. And then you're just sitting there wondering what you've done and you're upset or just want to isolate yourself from everyone. That's what I used to feel back then and I was a mess. But you know what I came to realize and learn from? I just learned from my most experiences and downfalls to just accept it. I can't really change it or do anything about it. So I just learned to accept that not everyone is who they say they are or if they are true friends and then I'm just going to end up getting betrayed or taken advantage of. So yeah, why worry about it when I can just move on and just find someone else or just live my own life? And it wasn't just friends, it was some people I used to be in relationships with. And this brings me back to what happened a few days ago. So I was in a VC with Chris and another friend and I was actually in a good mood because I was thinking right after the server VC, I was gonna call my girlfriend, well, ex-girlfriend now, and I could spend time with her. But here's the thing, before I did any VC, I had texted her earlier cause I had noticed something and I wanted to make sure she was all right. And I even said, I was going to be in my server VC if she wanted to join because she would normally join whenever I do VCs in my server. And mostly in private DMs, of course. Well, a few minutes go by and all of a sudden I get a message on Discord and it was from some guy that me and my ex are friends with. And I read the message and in the message the guy is accusing me of not being a good boyfriend to my ex and saying that I didn't care and I was... Basically, I was just so confused and when I told him that I do care this guy didn't even listen to reason and then said he would make me pay for it all if i didn't change and i'm like what i'm just sitting there like i didn't even do anything now you know i never had any problems with her at all we didn't fight we didn't argue there was n just nothing going downhill between us everything was just okay so i was just so confused as to why this guy is accusing me of shit i didn't even do but as I'm talking to this fucking idiot, my ex texts me out of nowhere and says, Hey, I think we should take a break, given the chaos and shit that happened in these months. And she was referring to stuff that happened over the past several months. It's been nonstop drama, her fucking dipshit of an ex, and just people's shit altogether. But I know the exact reason, and I will get to that in a bit. And I was like upset about it, but I didn't get angry at her, I didn't yell, I just accepted it, and we just went our separate ways. But what really made me angry was what her smart ass of a friend said to me, which made my stress level and anger level rise up. Like this guy really pissed me off to a point where I just snapped at everybody, but then I just apologized to them later after that. And that's what led me to post on my community to have those three broken hearts, just to give you a hint that I'm no longer taken. And most of y'all were wondering what happened and some of y'all asked me on Discord. Well, here's your answer. I've only told the full details to my friend Chris, my best friend, and only two other friends because those are the only four that I can trust the most to know what happened because I will tell them everything when it comes to people or relationships. But 
it didn't end there. The next day or two, I was in my server BC with a friend again, and he told me to look at my ex's status. And so I go look at her profile, and I see that she is taken by someone else. When she clearly said that she wanted to take a break from dating and needed time to heal from all the past shit she dealt with. And when my friend told me this, and I saw it for myself, that's when it clicked into my head, and I was like, Oh, okay, that's why you broke up with me. So, you can take a guess what this meant. After I saw that, not only was I fucking pissed off, but I was like, okay, fuck this shit. And I noticed that she unadded me on Discord and Instagram, so I block her on Discord, Snapchat, and Instagram. Now, I rarely even use Snapchat because I'm used to talking on Discord, but I still have it to this day. So yeah, after all that, I was like, you know what? I don't fucking care. I'm gonna move on, find someone new, because at this point, I don't give two fucks about it. So, at the end of the day, I'm doing alright, I recover real quick, and I'm just living the free life. And even my friend asked me if I'm gonna make a story to him about this, and I said to him, hell yeah I am, because what happened next, I later learned from someone that told me that she said that I was talking shit behind her back, which I wasn't. So yeah, here's a new story time since I haven't done any of these for a while. So yeah, that's all I had to say in this video. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, follow my Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.